Hi, this is Jason T. Ingram. I'm a multimedia artist from Portland, Oregon, and I live in the suburbs, and um, I've had a really, really lucky life in the last several years since I bought this house. I'm debt-free, um, and I've been living on a couple of means of support, and I get maybe a little money here and there when I do a gig, but, it, you know, I still am in the red when it comes to, you know, trying to work as an entertainer in a world and in a culture that that prizes um, social status and popularity. And it's hard no matter how much experience I have, no matter how hard I try at my product. <clears throat> it's hard because I don't feel like I have a voice. And it sort of reminds me of um, The Little Mermaid. And I always wondered, I thought that was really weird because usually villains will, will, will take things from the good guys, the protagonists, whatever. And it's usually, you know, they take their money or they put them in a prison or they kidnap a loved one. But taking someone's voice, I thought that was really kind of odd until recently. And so I'm glad I'm making these videos because they're helping me to come out of my shell and to have that voice, whether people listen or not, it's still gives me the opportunity to put stuff out there in case people do want to hear um, what my life is really like and the struggles I go through. And if anything, I think it'll help other people to also challenge their own lives and their views if they suffer from the same stuff that I do and if they feel stuck and there's people that are abusing their power over them in their life. The hard thing about the abuse of power is that a lot of people that abuse power, for instance, over peers, P-E-E-R, which is a term a lot of us use in mental health, is talking about other people in our lives that live and suffer with mental illnesses, is that... Um, it's kind of, I think it's what they call a mixed blessing or something. Basically, I'm helping somebody and harming them at the same time. I'm giving them the ability to eat and drink and sleep and be safe to a certain extent. But at the same time, I'm getting something back from that person. And I'm overpowering that person and basically taking away their freedom. And so I've had a lifetime of going to people for help and um, getting, getting help sometimes. And typically there's different levels of harm involved in the help that I get. Not so much now. That was the way when I was with born-again Bible-believing Christians. And it's amazing how much mental health um, services that they claim to practice. It sort of makes me think about somebody who needs an appendicitis and there's a group of people that says, oh, we can take that out, we can take that out. And then they do and the person dies. And, and so that sort of sums up a lot of my experiences of the people I go to for help. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of options. Um, for people living on Medicare and having to go through these big corporations and having to deal with their rules and regulations, the help I can get is pretty much limited to what they are able and willing to do. And it's also limited to what they th the kind of help they think I need and whether they think my problems are character flaws that I can change or whether there are things that can change under various forms of treatment, and whether the things that I live with can't change at all. And that's typically what happens with mentally ill people, is you get folks that might see a little bit of our suffering and they want to cure us. And I feel like it's kind of my life over 10 years ago, I kept getting around people that thought that my depression and everything was a problem that had to do with being gay, as, as if somehow being gay is still a mental illness. It hasn't been on the DSM since about the time I was born. So we know that being gay isn't a mental illness and can't be cured. 
although some people claim to have these stories of being cured, but I can disprove them based on my life and some of the research that I've done. But it's really weird seeing that same story played out in my life, but instead of people on the far right of religion and politics and issues, people on the far left, I really don't see them as being very different. I see their harm is not quite as bad as people on the far right. And it's called the, uh, something I call the God button, is, is that they can really give and give and give and be generous and compassionate. But the moment they think God tells them to do something, there's no limit to the cruelty and the harm that they can do. And I've experienced that, and many people have too. Unfortunately, I'm dealing with another button <laughs> right now. And it seems like people in my community that I go to for help, and I expect help, and I even demand it sometimes, too, because the suffering gets to the point when I don't know what to do sometimes. And it's scary trying to go to the same people over and over again <clears throat> that have done harm. And it's hard to get help, even if they are sincerely getting help. I still have a lot of issues to get over with people like that who have taken advantage of their position and their power. And so... If people have been in that situation, it's, I hate to use the word slavery, but it's funny how we abolish slavery in our country, and yet we don't abolish the principles of slavery. The principles of slavery is basically like, this person belongs to me. And whether they're my project, or, they're, or, or whether they're my employee, they still belong to me. I'm going to give them freedom, but there's kind of a limit to how much freedom I can give that person. And it's really hard to live empowered when you're around people like that. And it's also hard to live empowered when you're around people that view your brain chemistry flaws only as character flaws. And it's very hard to deal with your character flaws, or I don't know, did I say... Uh, uh, chemistry flaws twice. I, <laughs> I have to go back and listen to that. It's been a rough day for me, uh, and I'm realizing more and more about how I need to stay away from people that are trying to change things in my life that can't be changed. And I'm trying to distance myself from folks that abuse their power, whether it's passive-aggressive or whether it's like the people in my life before were very forceful how they would demonstrate their power over me. I don't have people like that so much in my life, but I definitely have the passive-aggressive thing, which is hard because a lot of times you don't get closure. You don't know why things are happening. And there's also this feeling of, am I that much of a monster that nobody even considers that there's another side to the story? And so I realize the more I try to speak out, and this might be an experiment for you if you're a peer, and if you feel like you need to take your life to another level. Once you start speaking about it, no matter if you're being rude about it or if you're being extremely tactful, it might be interesting to view others' reactions on you saying, hey, it's my turn to be able to do the things that are in my heart, to do the things that I love, and to have the things that I feel like I'm entitled to that that people are privileged to have the same things. So anyways, um, that's been on my mind a lot. Today is one of my sleepy days, and that's something I'd like to talk about more. So that's why I'm, I'm just, you know, my, my mood is really different. I'm suffering from uh, severe depression to where I am pretty much unable to accomplish anything. And sometimes I fight it when I need to, and sometimes... I just sort of let the depression happen and realize that this is a phase. And chances are, very good, that I'm going to come out of it. It could be another day. It could be another month. It could be another year before I get out of the depression. I don't know, but I'm going to just accept myself for where I'm at and know that this is part of an illness. And at the same time, I want to do whatever I can to be happy as well. So I hope that helps some people to kind of understand a little bit about what 
things are like. Thanks.